up everybody it's scrubman here with another elder scrolls online content video all right so I'll, i told you guys in my previous video uh, on the criminal activity that i had some new stuff coming um i've really been trying to think uh over the time that i haven't been posting on some different stuff i can do uh to show you guys the gameplay i, I know the tutorials are helpful for the newer players uh, and i actually really do enjoy doing tutorials um and helping the new players out um that it's hard to find sometimes playing games like this you people don't want to help or you may not have somebody to help you in games like this having all the help you can have can be really nice so but we also want to you know see the gameplay right you know see the stories and and you know actually enjoy the game um so i kind of did some thinking and i remembered um i made a new character um uh, this is tito he is my uh khajiit um warden i've kind of set him up to be like a ranger um if you guys are playing like everquest or world of warcraft before the rangers they call animals uh they usually have a bow or you know axes um i think in world of warcraft you could have rifles or shotguns or you know firearms um whatever okay they're they're hunters basically right so i'll kind of set him up to do that um just like my healer he's a warden um, except I've done him a little differently he does all the animal stuff he can call a, a bear and yada 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 right uh, he's a DPS so just a simple fighter and he's new I uh, he's still I don't think he's level 10 yet he's not even level 10 so I was thinking I haven't done nothing with him I don't think I've done any quest lines with him uh, he's also in the high aisle. I've realized all my characters are pretty much in high aisle. I don't know why. Um, but I have not done any zone stories uh, with him at all. And zone stories are really cool um, storylines. Uh, for the most part, they're, they're fairly fun. Um, there's a few that can be really, really long. Um, but they are a good way to see gameplay and just enjoy the game. Uh, aside from the tutorial so i was thinking what i'm going to start doing is i'm going to do the adventures of tito and we can do the storylines uh, the zone stories um and i will break them down into a video so for example if i was to start in high aisle i will do their seven um story quest uh, as you can see up top um for um high aisle so what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to pick a zone um, and I'm going to do a video per quest line. So this one has seven. So there would be seven videos and I will, I will do one um, zone at a time and go all the way through it. Um, and I'm only going to do one quest in a single video. The reason I'm going to do that is because there's no way to know how long they can be. Um, and I don't want them to be too long, uh, and if they're short, great, I mean, you know, it, it that will kind of change it up a little bit. Uh, so you guys can see the storylines, okay? Uh, keep in mind, though, if you're planning on enjoying the storyline yourself and you don't want to know, um, how everything happens or whatever, don't spoil it for yourself, so spoiler alert, okay? If you don't want to know the storylines ahead of time, don't watch the adventures of Tito. Okay, uh, that's gonna be something I'm gonna start doing. Uh, try to get at least a quest line or two out to you guys uh, during the weekends when I post my content. So we'll start. Um, I am not gonna start with um, High Isle just because I have done a lot of stuff in High Isle with all the other characters, and it's kind of getting a little old. Uh, so let's find a place. Unfortunately, he has no places to go to uh no way shrines for a lot of places so he's bane well the desert oh man can't go to the desert either what a rip off uh, oops i did not mean to do that uh, using the map in this thing is really... Oh, duh. Okay. Hmm. Somerset has a good storyline. Um, 
This will start there. There's nine of them. I think it'll be a good way to start. Um, or we can start small and find a place that has a smaller. I know there's a. Bleak Rock has six. We'll, we'll, we'll start with Bleak Rock. It's a small little island. It's not a long zone story. Um, those six quests get completed fairly quick. Uh, so we'll start there. I'll go to the six. Guys, let me know in the comments if you like these or not. And, and I'll kind of play it by, you know, your guys' feedback. Um, we'll start there. And I can rank Tito up. You can watch Tito grow and level. And we'll have some fun with this. This will also be a good way for you guys to see the world, um, too. So, we need to find the zone. Um, I believe it's probably going to start here. Alright. Do not mind Tito's ugly armor. I literally just made one of the, the race style armors to start him out. I always craft all my characters' armors. Um, oh, yeah, I remember I was saying in Criminal Activity about killing livestock. There you go. Perfect place to do it. Blue Rock Isle. All right. So we just need to find the zone quest. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So, when we start this, I'm going to not talk so much so that you guys can listen to what the characters are saying and enjoy the gameplay. I'll, I'll say some stuff throughout the video, um, but I'll let you guys enjoy it. So, here we go. This is the Bleat Rock Isle uh, Zone Story Video 1. Here we go. I'm short on good help, and I could use someone capable. Someone like you. We sighted a ship offshore. I've sent my troops to investigate. If it's the vanguard of an invasion, well, we'll need to evacuate. Where are the villagers? The people of Bleak Rock all across the island. Darge, the hunter, went to Sky Shroud Barrow. Iman's out at Orkies Hollow with his sister, Rolanda. Saying, my sergeant, is out at Hosen's Folly. I'll go find them. All right, here we go. The beginning at Blue Rock, or a beginning at Blue Rock. Can you use that weapon, friend? I need your help. Just tell me what's going on, huh? There's a necromancer here, but I can't find him. He must be in the catacombs beneath the shrine. That's the only place that makes sense. Something has to be done about these undead. The dead walk at Sky Shroud. There's an evil power radiating from within the shrine. But the door is locked. In the Skald's tales, every dragon shine had a priest. If we could speak with Sky Shroud's priest, he could tell us how to get in. If Shore is willing, yes. I brought a bag of incense to burn as an offering. The bone men had caught me before I could try the ritual. You might have better luck. What do you say? 
Give me the bag and I will see what I can do. I hope you have better luck at the shrine than I did. Watch yourself in there. Man, the Barrow has been here for as long as anyone can remember. Legends say a cult of dragon worshippers built it, as well as the shrines like it on the mainland. Some folks have, mostly youngsters. Until recently, this place was haunted by dust and the occasional frostbite spider. Now, skeletons rise from their graves. Something has changed. So, I think that was literally the end of the first quest. Oh, no it isn't. It said it was, but... Alright. So I'm going to go until it says one. Um, so the you have to complete a major quest. So sometimes the one quest on the zone story will be multiple small little quests. All right. So once I get a one up here, um, we'll consider that one video. I'm gonna grab this sky shard up here. Alright, we're off to summon the dragon priest apparently. Sounds like a great idea. Hello? Oh, okay. Ow. My dude, aren't you a little cold? You ain't got no shirt on. Alright. Maggot, you dare summon me? Who are you calling a maggot? Can you comprehend the power I once had? Why should I help you with anything? Yes, I can sense them. Some worm defiled this place. You are now my will incarnate, mortal. Enter the barrow and kill this worm. You need to ask? Bath. Once everyone knew the ritual. Three rune stones unlock the door. They're placed in prominent positions around the shrine. Find them and put them on their pedestals around the door. Then you'll gain entrance. Now go. Jeez, so bossy. Too bad you can't do it because you're dead. Hmm. Such a pity. I just saw there was one up there where I jumped off. So here. Oh, there's one over here, so I might as well grab it.
that's not good. <laughs> hmm. Darn. Oh man, I guess he had a worse day. <clears throat> I'm a professional, guys. I don't know why they feel the need to take my kills every time. Dude, I'll go away. Once more at the seat of my power. I am a spectre, a mere shade, forced to watch as a necromancer defiles my body. Kill him! Severe harness, a vow practice of necromancy is forbidden within the Lion Guard. You're hereby banished from the Covenant domains. You've been remanded to General Serene. He is traveling south on a military campaign. He may use you as an asset in any way he sees fit. May Akatosh have mercy on your soul. Huh. It's awesome. All right, so we gotta go back and talk to Dodge the Hunter. The undead are gone. What did you do? I found evidence of a necromancer working with the Covenant. The Covenant here? Trolls blood, I have to warn the village. I'll head back. See if you can find any of the other villagers on the island. We may have to evacuate soon. I wouldn't have thought those milk drinkers would leave their cozy taverns to come down here. I'll have to get this wound seen to then. I'm going to need my sword arm. If that necromancer was working for the Covenant, we're all in danger. I'll head back to the village to prepare our defenses. You'll need to search the island for villagers and send them back to Bleak Rock Village. Good luck! I'll find as many as I can. All right, level 10. Do that in a minute. 
All right, so that's the first one, guys. So, I'm going to end this video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Join Tito on his adventures through the Zone Stories of Tamriel. Until next time, guys, I appreciate you watching. Give me a like and subscribe if you like Tito's little adventures, and we'll make sure to get more for you guys. Keep scrubbing.